Hello subscribers, welcome to Metal Detecting Wisconsin. Uh, the clip after this little introduction is going to be uh, about a six and a half minute video I made with some of my thoughts about the uh, Equinox 800 while I was over in England. Um, I had some issues with EMI and identifying iron and my thoughts when I first got the Equinox, I actually got it four days before I left to go to England. I was bringing it over there mainly as a backup. I was going to take some time to try to play around with it. But once I got over there, I realized I didn't want to spend my time playing around with it, trying to figure it out. So I kind of put it aside. I used it for a couple of half a day sessions. Other than that, I relied on what I knew, which was the uh, Deus. So, if you watch this, I wanted to do a little introduction because I've learned quite a bit about the Equinox since I've gotten back from England. And a couple of issues with the EMI that I was having, I think I figured those out by watching other YouTube videos and what's on the forums. I want to just give a shout out to uh, Gigmaster and Detect America, who both brought up the... Uh, cell phone issue and also other electronics operating around the, the, the Equinox 800. It seems to be very sensitive to EMI. I was using my cell phone when I was over there. I had it on my belt which on a, in a case which was probably only about a foot away from the main control unit of the Equinox so that probably causes some of my problems. Also I think it was Gigmaster that pointed out that the headphones or maybe it was Detect America, one of those two, pointing out that the actual Bluetooth headphones and the ones that actually come with the Mind Lab also cause some interference, which doesn't make sense to me because it's part of the whole package, but they determined that that could be an issue too. So I think that problem is probably solved. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just move my cell phone into my cargo pants that I usually wear on my left side and it's lower on my thigh, so it seemed to, the few times I've used it like that, seems to not be interfering at all. The other issue I was having was, was identifying iron. I learned a few tricks with that, um, basically using the iron bias and also switching to a lower frequency. So there's a couple of tips and tricks that, you, that I found online and on, the, uh, on YouTube. The other guy I want to do a shout out for is uh, Calabash Digger. He has uh, done some pretty extensive testing on YouTube with the 800 compared to a bunch of other detectors and messed around with settings. So between all those things that I've watched, I kind of settled into some settings that I like. And basically what I'm doing is part two with a, uh, I went to two tones. I'm disking out uh, two and down to negative nine and pretty much listening to everything above above two and determining whether or not I want to dig it by how it sounds and what the numbers are coming in at and then I've put my iron bias on two I'm running my uh, reactivity at six and both iron bias and reactivity I probably would adjust according to the site that I'm on. And then also, obviously, I'm gonna adjust sensitivity based on EMI and other, other things. So that's kind of what I've settled into, and I'm gonna use that for a while until I really learn, learn the machine and its nuances, and then I'll probably play around with a few more settings. So I like to have my machine set up to where I just have to turn it on, noise cancel, and start detecting. I don't like to have to play around with a bunch of different settings every single time I'm out. And that's basically the way it's been with my CTX and my, my uh, Deus. So with that, here's the video uh, that I did over in the UK. Sorry about the wind. And sorry about the, I know the, the little object that I found. I was trying to show you how sensitive it was, but it turned out to not be that small of a, a thing. It was, it was a brass or a copper nail. That was just the head and a little bit of the, the shaft of the nail. But it was picking up some really, really tiny pieces of copper and little tiny pieces of uh, brass. So it is very sensitive 
detector and so far I'm, I'm starting to really like it. I think it's going to be a killer machine in the water. I just can't wait till they come out with some headphones that we can use in the water where we don't have to worry about getting them wet. So I'm looking at a couple options with that too as far as using a case that you put plug the WM08 into and put that inside the case and then you have the headphone jack on the outside and using maybe a head, uh, waterproof earbuds or something like that so that would kind of solve that problem until we have uh, actual some real headphones from my med that came come out I also think that big coil on that machine is going to be a killer coil when you're in a area where you, where you, there's not a lot of trash I would have loved to have had this machine set up how I have it set up now with the big coil over in the UK I think it would have would have blown away the the dais especially in depth and and I Dean I think it would I would have done a lot better with it if I would have known what I know now I would have sure for sure used it the majority of the time when I was over there so enjoy the video there you go Equinox uh, fans um, it's been kind of a slow day we went to some field called the carrot patch I didn't find much on a couple of buttons bunch of little bits of lead but there's been tons and tons of hammered coins coming off that field. It used to be a medieval fairs used to be there. My buddy Tim found a long cross penny and one of the other guys found a, it was a noble hammered silver. I think they called it a noble. So there's a couple there found this morning but we're back. We're on a uh, disc field, not rough plowed so it's a little bit easier walking. I thought I would just show you a couple of things and make a few observations about the Equinox. I've been using it for about two hours on this field. Then find found a bunch of buttons, um, nothing else. But I think they said there was a hoard of like ten gold coins found on this corn on this field in one of the corners. So but I want to just show you one thing here. Um, well, first of all, this is a. I think this is a very sensitive machine. So what I'm running in is field 2 and I dropped the sensitivity down to 18 and I changed to two tones. That's the only changes I made to it. Um, the external speaker doesn't sound very loud either to me. I, I don't know. I have it maxed out right now. One thing that it's been doing that I don't quite get and I don't know if it's a sensitivity issue or what it is but if you just uh, swing in the coil along and all of a sudden it'll just start beeping like crazy like like it's like there's EMI uh, coming from somewhere what I've been doing is just stopping and like here it's, gonna, it's doing it right now you know if you can see that see the numbers and hear that so what I've been doing is move the coil somewhere and I've just been letting it sit wait till it stops doing what it's doing there it's got two dashes and then I just move on but I don't know I don't get what's going on I don't know if it's sensitivity is just that sensitive um, that's one thing I don't like the other thing is uh, with a heavy glove on because it's freezing cold out right now um, it is pretty wide grip but I guess the CTX is about the same and I don't know if the wrist angle is different or what it is, but my wrist is a little sore from swinging this for two hours. But but it's a I, I do like it, and I think it's just going to take some getting used to. I don't know if I'm going to be using it anymore over here. We have four and a half days left to hunt, and I just feel like I can do much better with the uh, with the dais. As you can see, it's doing it again. But what I got here is I have, I'll show you how sensitive it is. I think I have a little piece of lead or little tiny button or something that's coming in at a 9 or a 10. And by the way I ran my coil, the coil of this over that uh, half penny, hammered half penny that my long cross that my buddy found and it kind of came up as, on a number 9 on this scale. So I'll show you what it's doing here. We'll, we'll dig this up. I'm getting a good 10, 11 that way. So it's good solid repeatable signal in both directions so I'm going to say that's a conductive, a small conductive target and it's probably close to the surface. 
The other thing I don't like is I'm having difficulty IDing iron with this. I've had a lot of targets that I thought were uh, good and it's it turned out to be iron, but that's probably going to take some getting used to too. I, I have no issues identifying iron with the dais. So let's uh, see what this is in the hole and um, I'll show you. How it's feel. I'm pretty sure it's a little tiny piece of something, so that'll kind of give you an idea of how sensitive it is. And I, but I'm pretty sure it's real close to the surface. These lit, there's little tiny pieces of lead over here. My buddy Tim says I think it rains lead over here. It's just tons and tons of it in these fields. Little tiny buttons, those little uh, Roman coins I found, those were reading around 10. So you, you have to dig, I guess I'm gonna turn this on, you have to dig those uh, really low numbers and you have to dig the piece of lead. You have to dig those low numbers over here. Pretty much you have to dig everything. That's a little, oh, it's a little nail. Part of a nail, I think it is. A little tiny copper nail. So, there you have it. Those are my thoughts. Let the haters start ripping on me like they did with my other video but you know I don't really give a crap about you haters you can actually unsubscribe to me if you if you would like I know one guy even nailed me about the way I pronounce the XP Deus I was calling it and he corrected me and said it's Deus with per, with uh, exclamation points like he's giving me an English uh, English lesson thanks a lot buddy I really needed that so but I'll try to do it properly so that you don't get so upset about it next time around. So I'm going to wrap this up and I think I'll post uh, this video on its own. Thanks for watching.